Maromia, Ethiopia, the harsh lands of southern Ethiopia's border with Kenya, have long been the setting for violent clashes between two groups of pastoralists, the Berena of Ethiopia and Gabra of northern Kenya, as they compete for scant resources. Each have traditionally moved with their herds to find grazing as the seasons change. With little regard for international boundaries, livestock raids across so-called borders are common. Ironically, it now looks as if the battle against climate change might lead to a lasting peace. The climate change has been observed in the area in a sense that the temperature of the area is very much increasing, the rainfall is very much decreasing, then this aggravates the competition of resources, which finally result in violent conflicts. Faced with conditions made even harsher by climate change and desperate to sustain their herds, the raids between the Gabra and Berena worsened. The increasing conflicts prevented each tribe from roaming freely. This in turn led to overgrazing and degradation, further exacerbating the problem and threatening their ability to survive. In 2011, the Aromia Pastures Association, OPA, was formed to resolve the conflict. We established the Peace and Natural Resource Management Committee between the two communities. Then after that, using just walking through these uh, peace committees, we manage to bring them together. Like for instance, we have activities such as cross-border community dialogue. Then we bring them together, they sit together, they discuss on what positive impact they can get from conflict. Then they saw nothing. And then again they see what positive impact they gain from peace. It's plenty. Free movement for those affected by harsh weather is now possible. Abudu Isaka had to leave Kenya because the drought was so severe. With board members representing all the pastoralist communities, the Aromia Pastoralist Association also protects and secures rights to communal lands and natural resources, as well as ensuring free prior and informed consent by working with respected elders and traditional leaders. The newfound peace lasting three years has allowed members of both Berena and Gabra communities to prepare for drought and sell their livestock at fair prices across border markets. The ability of pastoralists to move around and earn a living from their livestock has cut pressure on the overgrazed lands and reduced deforestation for charcoal production. Critically, they're taking measures to protect their pasture. 
Kanir ralale, marri ka lafke jiruju mar guda bitu ya tingar male. Abi rukum shani abi rukum jang kene. Aklong kijigi se bat desa irak kene. Am mori nama karalolu uka. Ya bi nama gan ya bi tana agan inga. A range of climate change adaptation measures are now being undertaken by pastoralists. Good design for that. Good rain will be good. Not me, Ali. Good design for that. Most of the country for that. Good day, sun, leori, moon, and bright sky. Did I do any talk with it? Did I can't hear? I do yoga. The most of that. Most of it. Most of mola. Most of it. Why? 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 Now that there is peace, there is more chance that the children can go to school. Despite the progress that they have made, the Aromia Pastorist Association is keen to learn more. We are now in a position to sit and see how we would work better. And I think we will even see everything like our strategic directions. And we will see another opportunities that we are going to gain from, from the world uh, integration. And uh, by seeing this all, we will do more again.